What's happening YouTube? Simulation Junkie back with yet another video. Well, it's that time of year again. The flea market is open and the pickups keep coming. Now, what you're about to see here is the accumulation of two weeks, the last two weeks at the flea market. As you can see, not a big haul, but yes, some still quality stuff. Um, let's start over here at the Goodwill. I picked this up for a quarter. Uh, Viva Knievel. It's actually um, a movie. I thought it would be more of a biography or some type of documentary on his stunts, but it's actually a movie. So I'm going to have to check this one out. This was a quarter. Over here we found Dale Jr. Uh, obviously you all know that he is retiring this week. Or he retired, um, announced his retirement. And he's going to be retiring at the end of the year. So I picked up this Dale Jr. vintage uh, pose right there. They did a pretty good job on this model. And we also have Dale Sr. Uh, believe it or not, I found these at two different vendors, uh, and they were both a quarter each. Seems like I'm missing Dale's uh, helmet right there. I didn't realize that at the time. But there you go. So not bad for 50 cents. Uh, one of the pickups that I'm really excited about is this vintage red line right here i believe it's called the iced tea it's missing the roof you can see the two holes right there where it pops on but everything else is really minty fresh i mean the back door opens up nice and nice and fresh like it should the tires are great shape and not bent the engine is still there which is pretty rare to find in one of these cars and uh it looks really really nice There you go, Hot Wheels, iced tea. Uh, they do sell replacement roofs, I've seen on eBay. Um, I believe it comes in a yellow and a white. But these old cars, it's really rare to still see the steering wheel still intact and the shifter still intact. And there we go. Really great. This was only 50 cents, believe it or not. Uh, next pickup was this McQueen. It's got a little bush on his head. Uh, believe it or not, I paid 50 cents for these two cars from the same vendor. Believe it or not, I just watched this movie a couple weeks ago. I found it at the flea market, Cannonball Run. This was the uh, the Donnie or Davy Allison car that was in the movie Driven by Terry Bradshaw. Funny movie, I tell you again, if you get a chance, please go out and rent it or, uh, or find it. It's a great, great movie. You'll love it. Uh, these three cars right here, I think I paid a dollar for these three. I love die-cast cars when their hood's open. I think that all die-cast, especially NASCAR, should have rubber tires and a hood that opens the trunk as well. But I think this one came in a, in a cereal, in a cereal box. Nothing too fancy. It's really cheap, actually. But I have a nice, pretty, pretty nice collection of just die-cast cars with hoods that open and close. So this will stay in my collection. Uh, we got a Jeff Gordon 1999 edition of his Pepsi car, and an early version of Dale Jr. And this one was pretty cool. Uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. is Superman, Monte Carlo. And then this little one right here where he's up against the pit wall. And I'm not sure if that's his rookie car. Yes, it is. Here's that look for you. There you go. You get the rookie stripes. Really nice die cast. This may be one of my favorite body styles of his career. Just really nice rounded lines. Really nice shape, Monte Carlo. I also was able to pick up this Dale Jr. 124 scale die cast by Action. It is, uh, I guess, stained. It is the, uh, the logo on the box. And it says right here, number eight Budweiser slash stained 2003 Monte Carlo. Total production of 60,204. One of 3,504. So, not a rare die cast by any means. They were asking $10 and really didn't want it. 
I guess I did one, but I offered him five and, and the guy took it. At the end of the video, I'll show you the car in its case. So there you have it, guys. Um, in tribute to Dale Jr. Hey, Dale. Um, I'm going to show you my Dale Jr. diecast collection at the end of this video.